Let us see one example of mixing tanks separable differential equations. <clears throat> a tank has a pure water flowing into it at a 10 liter per minute and the content of the tank are mixed and we have a content flow out at 10 liter per minute. So initially the tank contains a 10 kg of salt and in that tank we have 100 liter of water. So how much salt will be in the tank after 30 minutes? So we can draw the uh, diagrams to illustrate this process. So we have this uh, water going into the tank. So the water going into the tank, the flow rate that we know in these uh, questions is 10 liter per minute. Of course, it's using a pure water. That means the concentration of salt in the tank will be 0 kilogram per liter, right? So now, initially the tank contains uh, the salt is 10 kg and the volume, initial volume in the tank is 100 liter. And then we have pipe at the bottom whereby we're going to drain this tank at a rate which is the R out equal valence to 10 liter per minute. So the concentrations of the salt that flow out from the tank is equivalent to the amount of salt in the tank divided by the volume. Okay? Divided by the volume. So in these equations, we can write the uh, differential equations. So here we have uh, dA over dt is equal to the red in of salt which is r in c in minus r out c out so r in is 10 liter per minute concentration of salt is zero minus the flow rate is 10 and the out is 10 divided by the volumes which is 100 liter okay so in that case, we have uh, minus A divided by 10. So this represents the rate of change of salt in the tank. Okay, so we're going to use these uh, differential equations to find what is the salt in the tank after T minute. So from here, we're going to use the separable differential equations. DE to solve this problem. So here we have uh, DA over DT equal to 1 minus 10 times A. We can separate this. We bring the A variable on the left and then we have 1 divided by 10 DT and then we go into integrate both sides. Here we have C. So 1 over A is ln of A. And here is minus 1 over 10 of t plus c. And then so we're going to take the uh, exponential on both sides. Okay. And then they give us e ln of a is equal to a. Here we have the exponential minus t divided by 10 uh, plus c. So this can be write as minus t divided by 10 exponential c. And then we can represent this C with a one arbitrary concern, let's say it's C. So at the end of it, the salt in the tank is equivalent to C exponential minus T divided by 10. So the question is, how much salt in the tank after 30 minutes? That means at T time equal to 30 minutes, we need to find out. But before that, we need to find the C value. So the C value is we use the given initial conditions, okay, given at T equal to zero. So the initial salt in the tank, in our case here is 10 kg. So we substitute into this equation to find the C value. So 10, A equal to 10, C exponential minus zero divided by 10. So this gives us C is equal to 10. So we substitute this, we get the uh, particular solutions, which is A equal to 10 exponential minus T divided by 10. 
Now we're going to answer the questions. That means is at time t equal to uh, 30 minutes. Okay, equal to 30 minutes. We're going to substitute this value, then we get a equal to 10 exponential minus 30 divided by 10. So in this case, we have roughly about this amount of salt in the tank. 